About a year ago, I set my computer down and I decided I'm going to code every single day for a year straight. And this is fully self-taught, so there's not one part of this video where I was on a course of some kind. And I did actually do this, and the real question here is how good did I actually get at coding because of this? Today, I'm going to break it down for you guys. We're going to go phase by phase, the highs, the lows, the challenges, and the best part, the breakthroughs. We're going to cover what I learned and the amazing experiences along the way. I think over the past year, I've made around 10 to 12 projects. And actually, a lot of these were in different languages, so I think you'll enjoy some of these. So make sure you watch to the end to see all of them. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button right now, because just, just do it. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Phase one. The first phase of these is going to be my Python phase. I started off with Python because, bro, who is not going to start off with Python? It is obviously just the best first language unless you want to do some lower level stuff c is right over there and it is just waiting for you but this is my course so if you look over here we have a bunch of things and one of these is a book if you realize now i'm all for the opinion that books are probably one of the best ways of learning and this is called grokking algorithms and i didn't even finish the book to be honest because i wasn't actually using all of this that much i'd say learning your algorithms like this is really useful if you're trying to get a job and as we can see that these are all not really job worthy things I ran into so many issues when learning how to code for the first time using this language because it was just unlike anything I've ever done. It was probably the real first experience. I was trying to use Django without even knowing how it worked. So that was awesome. And it's actually touching the databases. So I felt pretty badass for that. I think the most acknowledgeable thing that I made was easily this music player right here. And I don't even think this is the one that I have on GitHub. This is some random one I made a while back. Why do I have this song in the files? Okay, I'm not about to play that. But due to all of these projects that you're witnessing on the screen, I was able to capture and learn a bunch of new things. These easily strengthened my fundamentals and I honestly deem myself proficient after this. That's what leads us into the next phase of my coding journey. This led me to my final Python project. Now I still use Python here and there. This is easily the one that taught me the most amount of knowledge and that is a library I built that actually makes full on graphs with just a bit of code. And there was maybe a little bit of vibe coding here and there because, you know, I ran into the AI dilemma. Is AI going to take over my job or, or am I going to be a loser and not use it? Well, the answer is you're not a loser for using it, but you are a loser if you use it on everything and claim you're a coder. That's not the point. This library is actually the one that got me maybe a little bit of attention on the internet for the first time. And it wasn't really the best attention because I put it on r slash Python. And I'm sure you guys know how good the reputation is of Reddit communities. They were actually very kind to me. And they pointed out that I made a really stupid mistake in my readme. And that was that I may have used AI for it. And it was like your username on the github profile so that was very stupid and definitely one of the biggest face palms that i ran into during this process but day after day working on this in school and when i got home it just drilled the hell out of my brain and this took more than a month to finish because i didn't know what the hell i was doing and that's great because as soon as you familiarize yourself with any of these concepts it just starts to get better from here and trust me what i learned next is even better about halfway through the year i came to a really big conclusion and that is that, hey, there might be better languages for me than Python out there. And that's when I discovered Go, the cute little gopher. Oh my God, he's so adorable. What did this language do to me? It changed me. I was in a really weird situation. I didn't really know what the hell I wanted to do because I thought web development was a little bit ubiquitous and just too common. I didn't like that. But at the same time, I was just making a bunch of automation scripts and managing a bunch of servers and it kind of got boring because command line interfaces get a little bit boring. So I changed that. I went into this amazing GitHub repository called Learn Go with Tests. And as we can see, there are literally situations for everything. And better yet, this language is so cool that there's even a website made by the developers of Go to get you better at it. It is called Go by Example. Boom. They have something for every single practical use case. And if you need anything else, guess what? It is going to be there in some documentation. Bang. Definitely not a good first language though. This is generally one of the first times I experienced challenges, like real challenges, because the logic part of coding was never really that hard for me. It was figuring out problems that I've already built. Building the boilerplate problems is not hard. What's really hard is actually making functional software that is a little more fault tolerant. That's challenging. That is easily the hardest thing. People can code and make stuff all day. You can go in the chat GPT and code some stuff up. But at the end of the day, if you can't manage your architecture, you're in some deep shit. My most accomplishing thing though by far was probably my directory size calculator. And I don't even know where it is as we can see you can take as many files as you want and it just gives you the return size i don't even remember how i use this bro go run multiple files dot go will it actually run boom it gave me all the lines across every file that is so dope that is one of the coolest projects i've ever made and lastly, I discovered the wonderful world of GitHub and YouTube. YouTube I've been doing for a little bit now, but GitHub was really the thing that kind of inspired me because there are other people out there who know how to code 10 times better than you, 10 times more proficiently than you, and they are just way cooler than you. They don't shower as much as you, but that's kind of negligible here. We need to make good software that works no matter what the situation is. If you take a look on GitHub and you go to any trending repository, I think if we just go to github.com slash trending, there are some insanely cracked people on here. Money printer turbo. Okay, this is kind of disgusting. Let's 
let's find some actual cool stuff. We have an operating system for robotics made in Python. Look how fat this repository is. Definitely, you can easily complain about this though. I don't really agree with fat repositories, but it, it drives cars. Um, it, it literally drives cars for you. That's actually bizarre. I mean, there's a whole lot of documentation on here and you just slap it in there and boom, it just goes. GitHub definitely changed me a lot because I made my own GitHub and I started putting all my projects on there. And that is one of the things you need to be successful. I'd say that when an employer hires you because they want you to work at your startup, they're going to look at your GitHub. That is a normal thing to do. So it's best that you try to make your GitHub look as good as possible. Throughout this up, I'd like to talk about one last thing. Coding has been an experience for me and it's different for everyone else. So comparing yourself to others is the worst thing you can do. I do it every single day, to be honest, and it's terrible for me because I, I mean, I just can't help myself. I'm getting better at it though. I'm making my own projects and people all the time will tell me, yo, dude, you're good at what you do. And I want to let you know, if you're coding, you're doing great. You're really good at what you do. And honestly, I'm kind of proud of you for doing it. So keep doing it. And unfortunately, we all forget things. So you're not going to remember every single thing you do. So never learn my memorization. Otherwise though, just keep going. Just keep coding every single day. Treat it as a hobby and not something that's just like kind of forcing you to work. That's terrible. You're going to wake up with five new pimples on your face every day. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Keep coding. Subscribe as well now. Bye.